Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on Math PSRD 2021 Paper 2, Questions 13 and 14. If you have been following me, this is the exam smart strategy that I am always adopting. And these are the two questions that we are going through today questions 13 and 14. Now question 13 is a geometry question right involving involving the angles in a triangle and in a four-sided figure in this case it is a trapezium. Now let's begin. ABCD is a trapezium and we are given that there are two parallel lines AB is parallel to DC so I'm going to indicate the parallel lines with an arrow. And we also know that AE is equal to EB. So equal means we use marking. So from here we can conclude that this equality means isosceles. Right, so we have, to, we have to adopt the isosceles triangle property. Okay, now I'm going to do the question now and I'm going to use the diagram throughout the entire question. Okay, first and foremost, we are supposed to find the first one, angle BCE. Now, angle BCE is either easily found because it's within this particular triangle which I'm going to shade I'm going to outline sorry this one the one that is in green okay so to find this angle it's very easy because we already have the two angles in that triangle so we can use the property sum of angles in a triangle which is 180 degrees so meaning angle B C E is actually found 180 degrees subtract 28 degrees subtract 94 degrees and that gives us 58 degrees so this is the answer for part a one mark now part b and we are supposed to find angle a c e now where is angles a c e angle a c e is up there okay so i'm going to indicate i'm going to uh, use okay blue it's somewhere here right it's along here this is angle ACE okay this angle here all right so this angle ACE which is part B all right before we do that I need to, it's very very good to plug in 58 here okay all right now we also we since we have the parallel lines AB is parallel to DC we can apply the property of corresponding angles all right because corresponding angles is actually easily known as the f rule so i'm going to highlight the f rule using red lines so if this is 53 this must also be 53 so that's the f rule because f rule is using parallel property okay all right so the 53 is up there okay so now if this is 53 over here the one that is in red and the one that over here is 28 i can actually find what is this angle here i'm going to indicate with green this acute angle up here all right okay so this angle is angle E B F. So angle E B F is also found using exterior angle equals to the sum of two interior angles. So the exterior angles in this case is 53. Alright. And the interior angle is 28. And angle E B F. Meaning angle E B F 
plus 28 degrees should give you 53 degrees. Okay, so angle EBF is 25 degrees. And this 25 degrees is important because it is part of the isosceles up there. So this is also 25. Reason, isosceles property. Okay, so that means we have already found angle AEC here. I'm going to do here. So angle AEC is equals to 180 degrees minus 25 degrees minus 53 degrees. Okay, so angle AEC is actually 102 degrees. So part B is found. Alright, so this is 102 degrees. Okay, so it is within that triangle A E uh, okay, uh, this is the unknown angle. Right, okay, let's move on to part C. Part C is actually a statement and we are supposed to select the correct answer. Now, since AF is okay, if we look at AF and DC, AF and DC, yes, they are parallel. So the answer is 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 parallel to each other. And let's look at AD and FC. Now, AD and FC, they are actually uh, not parallel to each other. Why? Because to be parallel, the internal opposite angles must be the same. Okay? Alright? Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out what is this angle here. Is this angle also 53? Let's find out. So what is this angle? This angle is actually 180 minus 125. Okay, the, the 125 is here. So when I minus this two, when I take 180 minus 125, I get 55. Since this is 55, it is not it's the same as 53. Internal opposites are not the same. That means it is definitely not a parallelogram. It's only a trapezium. Okay, so meaning AD is not parallel to FC. All right. So 13 is done. Feel free to play back my video so that you can uh, better understand how to go about solving question 13. The next question I'm going to touch on is question 14. Now, question 14 is talking about uh, the price of tickets for a concert. There are three categories there. For the adults category, we have below 60 and they have above 60. So for this above 60, I shall call it the senior citizens. All right, this is just ordinary adults. And this is the children category. Okay, and then this is the, the last column is actually the price of each ticket. So each ticket, the pricing is given to us. Okay, now we are also given more information in the below the table. Let's take a quick look. Now, the number of adult tickets was five times the number of child tickets sold. So I can present this information using a ratio. Adult to child, five to one. Now the word adult here is referring to this one. Huh? So it's, it involves two category. Okay, the young adults, YA, YA, and the senior adult, senior citizens. Okay, SN. All right. Okay, now let's move on to the next uh, info, which is written in the form of a fraction. Five eight of the adult tickets were sold for were uh, the sold they were for adults aged below sixty. So I can present this information using another ratio. So adults aged below sixty means it's the young adults. So the young adults comparing with the senior citizens is actually 
i and the eight is actually the total which is the overall adults so the senior senior citizens tickets should be three units right it's easily understood so if this is five eight then the other one must be three eight okay now these questions if you look carefully is involving three categories the young adults the senior citizens and the children and we have one item one type which is one category which is repeated this is repeated so we have to use the repeated identity concept so since five and eight are repeated so we have to apply the common multiple of five and eight that is 40 so the first ratio multiply by 8 each I get 40 is to 8 the second ratio I multiply by 5 each I have 25 is to 15 is to 40 okay what does it mean it means that give me a minute okay it means that the number of tickets all right in terms of units the number of tickets uh, sold which were for young adults is 25 units so I'm going to put it more the information next to the table and the number of tickets uh, for the senior citizens okay above 60 years old is 15 units so I'm going to put 15 here and the one that is for children is eight units right so all this information can be obtained from the two ratios now the 25 units are referring to the number of adults who are below 60 and each person will be paying $16 so let's find out what is the total amount in dollars all right so meaning 25 units times $16 okay so and then for the young okay wait let me use the same color to correspond so it's easier to compare okay I shall use red so one more time the amount of money collected from the sale of tickets for young adults those below 60 is 25 units times $16 those money collected from the sale of uh, tickets to the senior citizens, those 60s, 60 years and above, we have 15 units of tickets times $11 each. And let's do the same thing for the children. 8 units times $7 each. Okay, so let's find the product for both, for all the three categories. Okay, so... For those young adults, the total amount, 25 units times 16 units, is actually 400 units. Senior citizens, 165 units. And for children, 56 units. All these are easily done using a calculator. It's just merely taking 25 units times 16 units. That gives us 400 units. 15 units times 11, that gives us 165 units. And 8, eight units times 7, that will be 56 units. Now, if you sum up all this, add up all this, all right, that should be equal to the total here. Okay, this will be 5,589 dollars. Okay, so if I add up, all this okay I should have 621 units so 621 units must be 5589 so using our calculator and perform uh, and doing the unitary method I can actually find what is one unit so one unit will be 500 sorry 5589 divided by 621 okay that will give us nine it's a very nice number okay so one more time one unit is actually 5589 5, divided by 621 and is equal to nine
that's one unit okay all right so from here we take a look at the two part questions so a part a what fraction of all the tickets sold were for the senior citizens okay right talking about number of tickets right so senior citizens is actually 15 here so part a is actually done all right so i just need to use 15 divide by the total now what is the total the total is 25 plus 15 plus 8 so the numerator is 15 the denominator is 25 plus 15 plus 8 so this fraction okay when you key in we should get 5 out of 16 in the simplest form so part a is done what about part b part b is also easily done what was the total number of tickets sold what was the total number of tickets sold since the denominator is 48 units how did i get 48 25 plus 15 plus 8 the denominator so that is 48 units so 48 units is 48 times 9 because one unit is 9 so 48 times 9 give us 432 okay so 532 dollars has to be the answer sorry 432 tickets will be the answer for part b so part b is done remember do play back my video to revisit this question 14 solution all right and it's actually a very easy question to solve okay the suggested solution for questions 13 and 14 they are done okay so this particular video part 5 is discussed all right the coming videos that I'll be talking about will be the remaining three questions. All right. Okay. So to be notified of when my new videos will be out, will be posted, will be uploaded, please remember to subscribe. All right. So you can get your notification. For today's video, if you under if you find it is useful to you, if you like my video, so please do give me a tick and do feel free to share with anyone who wants to know more about the two questions all right thank you for watching my video thank you for your support all right looking forward to you viewing my future videos again till then goodbye and take care